I can do it, otherwise it's impossible. Just get out get out of the way but yeah, okay. This should do it should be fine now. If I ain't get stuck any max my ability. Yeah, without a wipe. Okay, 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 yeah, I did it. Oh, finally. <laughs> Just don't wipe, please. Hey guys, Lightning Soul is back with a brand new video on my English channel 2 with the one weapon everybody's looking for, the Sleeper Simulant. I don't know if this is a bug, I clearly have to state I don't know if it's a bug, if it's a glitch, if it's intended, but I found something out. A lot of people are saying that the Sleeper Simulant quest will start somewhere on Earth. Um, a lot of people are saying it's Rasputin's uh, bunker, if that's the correct name. Sorry for my bad English, I'm from Germany, as you maybe will know, maybe will figure out by my accent. I'm just trying to inform you here, I'm not clickbaiting or anything, so if you do not want to watch this video, just uh, do not thumb it down, just uh, go away. It's not a sleeper simulant quest, the title clearly states it's possible the quest will start here. So what uh, have we done, what have I found out? Uh, in the Saber Strike, I was I was looking for the Saber Strike actually because a lot of people said that in the Saber Strike you will find a clue to the Sleeper Simulant quest. So I was trying to get in a heroic strike. As you all know, there's a playlist. You can't just choose the strike and play it on in a heroic mode. So I was playing the stri uh, strike playlist and the 8th or ninth strike was the Saber Strike. So what I wanted to do was uh, invite my team, get into that strike and then start the strike and look for some clues to the sleeper simulant. So what we found out is that if you do the satellite and um, you capture that satellite, the door uh, opens to the saber strike. You know, the, the one big door where you have to go to actually finish the strike. So uh, I tried to wait at the Oryx Knights, as you can see, the famous Oryx Knights at Rasputin's bunker entry in the uh, actual mission of um, the Dark Below. So uh, I was waiting there and killing them. I had the Pocket Infinity uh, and the uh, Titan Gauntlets, which are related to the Sleeper Simulant. Uh, check out the Reddit thread to that if you want to get more information on that. There's a perfectly fine Reddit thread to that. I have a link in the description below and link in the comments. Uh, just read that if you want to know anything uh, you don't get from this video because I want to make it a short video and not a very long boring one. So what we actually found out is you can stay there, kill the Oryx guys uh, and you can take the war set. You can also stay there for a very long time in the Oryx strike. And uh, once you are, um, the, the guys on the inside of the strike are at the um, saber, the actually boss fight, you get teleported to that saber. So you can't stay there any longer. Is there any way around that? Possible, possible ways are there. I, ca I couldn't figure one out, but maybe you guys can. Uh, one possible way uh, could be to do it in Nightfall. Why do I say that? It's not that I found anything out in Nightfall. I didn't try it in Nightfall. I wasn't aware of that situation with the Sleeper Simulant and the Saber Strike once uh, where the Saber Strike was the actual Nightfall Strike. So I didn't have a lot of time then and I didn't know about that. So I just uh, could manage to check this in the Heroic Strike and it obviously doesn't work what we tried, as you can see in this video. Um, so, what, what what is the point of this video? The point is that you should probably do the Nightfall Strike, leave one guy outside at the Oryx Knights, and maybe if the both, both on the uh, inside, the other two members of your team, are playing through the Nightfall Strike without a wipe, that's important. They cannot wipe, because once they wipe, you will get ported there. They have to do it without a wipe. What else do you need to do without a wipe? Yeah, exactly, the Black Spindle mission. So th this is uh, probably some insight for you guys uh, to get the actual Sleeper Simulant quest. At least it's it's a possible solution for it. I'm not saying this is a solution, I'm just saying it might be possible to have that in mind watching this video and doing it, doing the uh, trying uh, for the Sleeper Simulant quest. It's just 
a wild guess on my part. And a lot of people on Reddit and on the internet are saying that that could possibly be it. So what do you want to do? Is next time the Saber Strike is the actual Nightfall Strike, just have two, two of them go inside that strike, do everything, kill the boss, and maybe look for some hint in, inside that mission. I don't know if there's some uh, secret door that will open then, or something else. Uh, have them look around for that, and kill the actual boss without a wipe. And I think at the very end of that strike, if you kill the boss on the inside with it, uh, with the two guys and one being outside on Earth patrol, you will maybe have the door open where the Oryx Knights are staying. Have in mind that those Oryx Knights have an overshield in Nightfall. So the, the one Oryx Knight that is actually called Oryx something, I don't know the English word for it, just uh, look for the knight at Rasputin's bunker. And um, that once you, you uh, are in Nightfall, this, this knight has actually a level 42 and has an overshield and he takes a lot of damage. He's not a normal yellow knight, he's not a normal major, he's at least an ultra and a very, uh, very high, highly uh, powered ultra. So you can easily kill him by just walking back, walking forward, uh, uh, reload your weapons, get health back and you can easily kill him but it takes a lot of ammunition. At least 20 old Galahorns it would take. Uh, but if you take a sword or something it will take at least three or four heavy am ammo synthesis I I'm guessing. In Nightfall, that is. So you want to do that, have the boss inside, don't wipe, kill the boss and kill the knights at the same time or before the boss is actually actually killed, kill those knights and maybe the door will open in nightfall. It didn't in, in the Auroric Strike, we tried it because I was teleported to, to the boss once they entered the boss room. Maybe they need to do something other before that, maybe they need to do anything else, just check for it please. Guys, if you want to take time for this, check it please and uh, give me feedback on what you found. I really need feedback because I can check every single thing on my own. Uh, I already invested like 15 or 20 hours into this playing strikes until the heroic uh, saber strike came up and everything else. So uh, you really want to check this and if there's a door opening, uh, please tell me. Please tell the uh, entire internet, please make a video about it. You will get a million clicks on that if the door opens on that very particular uh, Oryx night. If you find anything else, please let me know. I checked the entire patrol uh, on Earth while being outside in the Heroic Strike. I checked the entire thing and nothing happened. Uh, I was there for about three hours. My teammates left. I, I checked it actually, I checked it twice. Once I was in the normal playlist and I had random uh, team members and they couldn't finish the strike on their own. They just left after some uh, time. And uh, then there were people joining and I was on the outside and people were joining on my location. So wherever I was on earth, they were joining on my location. So actually, what, what this is about is a big glitch in that strike or, or the sleeper similar quest. So it's either an intended purpose from Bungie or it's a glitch that should never happen because they couldn't finish the strike, I couldn't finish the strike. There were, there, were, there were around 20 or 30 people coming into my strike playlist as my team members and they ju could just not open the door again where, the, where you have the war set fight at the very beginning of that strike. So you couldn't manage to finish that strike once you are waiting on the outside. That door is never opening again. Uh, please have in mind that the biggest point about this video is what you can see in this video. Um, we had one try where we wiped and we started in the beginning of the bunker. After the wall set, when you go through the uh, door, you, you have a checkpoint there and you have a checkpoint in Nightfall. Be aware of that. If you wipe, you have a checkpoint there. You're not going to orbit anymore. Maybe that's why you're not going to orbit anymore because the quest wouldn't work without it. The biggest point is why I'm making this video. Either Bungie has to fix it or it's a sleeper similar quest. I'm very sure one or the other. It's either an exotic quest for something, maybe not the sleeper similar, but for some weapon or armor gear, part, whatever. It's some sort of quest or it's a glitch. So what, what the biggest point is in this video, once you're on the inside and you get wiped and you spawn on the inside, at least that's what we tried, you might uh, just have to go back uh, without a wipe. It's, I don't know, I, I didn't check for that, just check for that, that's just a 10 minutes try. 
So what you, what you can do once you're on the inside and spawn there, you can either go to the first uh, opponents inside that bunker or you can go back. Once you spawn there, if you manage to go back instantly and have high agility on your char, you can walk back and the door closes like a, a chest door in Crowder's End, the door closes and if you're very quickly, really, really quickly, like with Maida multi-tool, high agility on your char, and if you, if you really move around the corners very quickly, you can move out of that door before it closes. And once you're on the outside, you can never get back into that strike. I tested everything, you cannot get back into that strike. And that's the glitch I'm telling you about. And I don't think it's a glitch, I, don't th I think it's intended, especially because it, the lights go on once you move back through that tunnel in that cave. The lights go on where your character actually is. So that's that's definitely that's a clue. Guys, definitely. I, I don't think Bungie would code it that way that the lights go off, the door closes, and if you're very fast, you can get on the outside. That's that's the quest. I have no doubt about it. If you have doubts about it, post it in the comment below. I cannot believe this is not a quest for some sort of weapon, for some sort of exotic gear, for, for anything, really. It must be a quest. It cannot be intended purpose and then have the strike uh, being destroyed like a glitch. You cannot finish it after that when once you move out. If not, nobody is alive on the inside. You cannot do anything on that patrol. I checked three hours. I checked for three hours and I'm saying sorry to everyone who joined my fire team that day. They could not finish the strike. They, they lost their uh, Vanguard bonus on the strike playlist if they have, have played one strike before that and I'm very sorry they had to go out of that strike but I really wanted to test it and I couldn't do anything about it. I'm really really sorry guys if you were among these people you were in the middle of getting the sleeper simulant quest at least to try for it and I'm very sorry if you lost gear, uh, lost legendary engrams or anything. I'm really really sorry and I'm saying sorry to the community for doing that in an open playlist where people uh, were joining after my teammates left. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Try it out in Nightfall when the Saber Nightfall uh, comes out. I will definitely try anything on that Saber Nightfall strike, but I don't think I can do any combination of, of things. And I think with a big community like the Destiny community, we can figure out if this is a glitch or a bug. And maybe, uh, or a quest, sorry, or and maybe Bungie will even say, oh, we have to fix that, that's not intended. Let me, let, me, let me know about it and I will post this on the Bungie forums as well. So now I've talked for like 12 minutes and that's enough for you to figure out if this is a sleeper simulant quest or just a glitch. I, d I doubt that it's a glitch. I think I think there's something going on there. If not the sleeper simulants and so something else is going on. Again, sorry for my bad English. I'm very excited to share this with you. I'm not clickbaiting. Please don't tell me I'm clickbaiting. I'm really not uh, doing a lot of English videos because I have a German channel and mostly enjoy making German content because my language skills in English aren't that great. So. Again, thanks for watching. Whoever took the time to watch this entirely, check it out if you want to do that. Go into the Saber Strike. Help help me out with any feedback you can give me. Any feedback, anything that is not of the ordinary in that strike, please post in the comments below. Make a video. I will uh, set every comment that has a YouTube video link with uh, related uh, content in, the, in it. I will set um, public. So you can post it, it will not uh, show immediately because YouTube uh, blocks those comments with uh, YouTube URLs. But I will check them out and post it for you guys to read in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Have a nice day. Get the sleeper simulant and tell me about it. Thank you very much, guys. You're the best. Bye. Herzlich Willkommen zum Guide, wie ihr die exotische Schrotflinte Chaperon, zu deutsch Chaperon, in Taken King, in den neuen Add-on zu Destiny bekommen könnt. Und zwar angefangen bei der letzten Mission der Story, wenn ihr gegen Oryx kämpft, 